You know, I really miss the days that when a developer really wanted you to buy their game and play it, that they would send you a fully fleshed out demo so that you could get hands-on experience on what you could expect if you get the full game. Well, I'm happy to say those days are now back. Well, what's up again there guys, Brian here, the 3Topics Gamer, and I had a little discussion video to share with you guys today, because I just got done beating pretty much the two primary gameplay modes that they have for the newly released Final Fantasy 16 demo, and I thought it'd be really nice for me to just kind of make a quick video, just giving my initial thoughts now that I've finished both different style, like, gameplay modes that they released for this really awesome demo. Now, I just want to say, they didn't necessarily have to release this demo. This was a game that I was already highly anticipating to get my hands in. I've already pre-ordered the Deluxe Edition. My only issue I would have with this game is that because I'm working two jobs currently, it's going to be really, really hard to find a good amount of time to play this game for an extended period of time. But this easily was my mo one of my most anticipated games of the year, just from everything that I had seen, heard, and it looked like it's easily could be one of the best Final Fantasy games I've played in quite a long time. So to actually get my hands on it and experience firsthand what this game is going to provide us uh, was a very welcome treat and I really appreciate that they did this. Now if you do happen to enjoy this little discussion video by any, please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to track me on my future videos. And remember if you have any more ideas for future reactions, discussions, reviews, let me know in the comments down below and I will try to get that video up as soon as I can. So now that I've gotten my hands on this demo, I can really say that if you had any fears about what this game was going to give you, you really need to try out this demo, especially if you have the current systems to, that will give you access to play it. Um, Gameplay-wise, I, what I thought this was going to be was a mixture of 15, Final Fantasy XV's gameplay, but it feels a little bit more like Devil May Cry. And to a certain degree, they did do that. This definitely feels closer to Devil May Cry 5 in terms of the speed of the combat, but it definitely still maintains the RPG elements. And that was something I really, really appreciated. And I, I, I must say, this demo had a lot of surprises that even I didn't anticipate. In fact, I kind of want to share this quick clip. I Now, I kind of make the common mistake always when I play certain games like this that I forget to turn off the mic on my controller. So as I'm playing certain games, you kind of can hear what I'm saying. So when this moment happened, um, it was quite a big deal. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I think it would be an understatement to say that I was really shocked when that thing showed up because uh, let's just say that particular monster has had a very, very legendary presence in the Final Fantasy franchise. So uh, to see that thing pop up again was a uh, really quite a surprise. Now, I think that when it came to the, a lot of the RPG elements in terms of the customizations, how magic worked, how combat worked, I think it all worked out very, very well. I think that the giant summon battles, I know they're called something else, but they're typical summon battles, I think that the structure of them is going to be very, very unique because they give you one that has you play as Phoenix taking on Ifrit. And I think moving forward, I think one of the best qualities with these summon fights is that each one of these is going to feel very, very distinctly different. You're not necessarily going to be doing the same thing over and over and over again. And I think doing that will keep these battles not only epic looking because just cinematically they're incredible, but I think they're going to make sure each one is fresh. And therefore, I think when I when I finish getting the game, I'll be able to do like a quick little rating video, just kind of ranking like worst best from all these interesting Little summon battles. Now, another thing that I was actually quite happy with was the structure of the combat. Now, the combat is a little bit more fast paced, but it feels a little bit more like toned. It, it doesn't feel quite as like open as say something like Final Fantasy 15 did. And so you, it, this isn't, this is by far not a straight up button masher. You really do need to pay attention to focus certain attacks, switching out using certain powers, making sure that you dodge and even time out your attacks very well. Because And one thing I also really appreciate is I'm not sure if this was like done on purpose or if this was just for the demo, but I didn't have any real issue locking on to certain targets. It just seemed like Clive would always target like the next opponent. And I really like that combat was structured this way. The only main issue I have with the combat system in this game is that 
for one of the gameplay modes, it has you fighting in a castle, and so you're fighting in a lot of closed rooms. And the, because the combat is moving so fast, the camera might have a hard time keeping track of you. And so things are moving so fast, you can't even see what's really going on. And that might make combat in closed areas a little bit difficult because you won't be able to see where certain attacks are coming. However, they did give you like this little accessory that kind of like slow down time for a little bit just before you got hit but they made they they absolutely made sure that for that particular mode in the demo that a lot of these items would not be items that you would get at that point in the game in the full game it would be something that you would pick up much later in the game and i really liked how this game gave you the option to play as like the first mission of the game and then they would give you an experience of what like a later mission would be and another thing that this demo did that i did not expect at all was that if you choose to play the opening mission once you have finished that it'll actually save your progress so that when you get the full game you don't have to do that section all over again you can actually jump right into the game for where that section of the demo ended and that is a brand new feature that i've never experienced in any demo it just makes me want the game to come out even sooner because i think this game comes out in like less than a week and a half so the fact that i can jump right into it building off my progress in the demo is a new element that i did not expect i think another factor that i thought was also very very interesting was the story now Going into the first section of the gameplay um, of the, the demo, it actually gives you an option whether you want to have like a story-based experience or a more gameplay-focused experience. And I think that the story is very, very interesting. There's definitely a number of new information that was given in this demo that I don't want to uh, spoil here because I really want as many people to play this as they can because this, this really is one of the best demos that I've played in a long time. But there's definitely a different tone that I haven't really experienced in any other Final Fantasy game that makes this very interesting. And I'll even go so far as to say this. I don't want to jump the gun too much, but just looking at every game that I have played this year and looking at the remaining games I've played this year, the door is very much very solidly open. Now, Final Fantasy, Final Fantasy 16 has the potential to be my personal game of the year for 2023. I think there's only like maybe one or two games that haven't come out that have the potential to take that spot, but there's already some flaws in those games that might hold it back. So if this game's story is as good as I think the potential could allow it to be, there is a potential that not only would this game end up being my favorite game for 2023, there's a possibility that this could be a top five greatest Final Fantasies or one of my personal top five favorite Final Fantasies of all time. The potential is definitely there. So I'm happy that this demo was all allowed me to kind of get a firsthand experience and just give me a hint of what I could expect. So I'm very happy that Square did this. So I have really, really very few negatives and a lot of positives. This was an incredible demo. This was a great decision by Square and the developers. And again, if you have any reserves or, or, or if you're kind of on the fence of whether or not you want to get this game, Please test out this demo if you get a chance because you will not regret it. And I think when you're done with this demo, you will absolutely want to pick up this game when it releases. So those are my just quick little just thoughts and discussions on the Final Fantasy 16 demo that they released. Now, if you had a chance to play this, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below as well. And just so you guys know, I actually will upload the full playthrough of my demo. However, I just want to warn you that because the mic on my PlayStation 5 controller is on, you kind of will hear like a double echo as well as me talking in the background. This, I now, now that I've actually gone through the demo, I really wish I'd stream this. I think this would have made for an incredible stream. But just those are my thoughts on the Final Fantasy 16 demo. Just, just want to let you know. So, if I, so with that out of the way, I want to thank you guys for watching. You're awesome. And I'll catch you all guys next time.